Alleluia Ministries International is a Bible-believing and Christ-centered church. We believe Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. His power is still at work in the church today, just as it was in the time of the Bible. We are AMI. God has made available the blessings of heaven for you. What you need to do is to tap into it. You may have it and not enjoy it if you do not follow what the Lord has said. It is important for you to make sure to understand that the mere fact that you say, I go to church is not enough. You must be deep in God and you grow in God every day. Oh, well, I join church. It's good. But you got to understand my people perish because of lack of knowledge meaning that they are God's people who are not knowledgeable the mere fact that you are a child of God does not open you to all the knowledge immediately it does not automatically come to you you have to build it up one of the first job that God has given man and the only one that came before the fall of man before seed was that man may be a cultivator out of the sweat you shall leave when God gives you a relationship, He wants you to cultivate it. When God gives you a gift, be it the gift of the Holy Ghost or talent, He wants you to cultivate it. It is good to have it, but until you cultivate it, you develop it, you may not enjoy it. Understanding also will give you your rightful position in God. It will align you. When God wanted you back, after the fall of man, sin had taken over and God was claiming you back. The Bible says he raised an altar and he sacrificed the best he had on that altar. In Golgotha, he put his own son to die on the cross of Calvary, to shed his blood so he may get you back. What you cannot get naturally, you'll get it through your altar. I receive it. This is a presentation of Alleluia Ministries International. We have lost the sense of sacred. And when the sense of sacred is lost, spirituality is undermined. Amen. In the bracket, some of you here, I know you will pretend holy. Some of you, you know. When you used to consult, you go to that native doctor. This guy before you, he comes. He needs to change something. You don't understand. And he asks you to jump seven times. You don't know why you're jumping. Then he says to you, you, you you're giving him money. He needs it more than you. But he said, you right. don't touch it. He said, put it in the face. It's so sacred, everything that happens there, that you feel you have goosebumps. When you put it there, he screams. You're looking left and right. You know surely something is happening here. <laughs> Even if he's a fraud star. But uh, he has uh, created a masquerade of sacred. That you know that uh, here I don't play. You may be high in society, but there, this man, educated or not, will make you feel small. <laughs> Your shoes are off. No chair. You sit on the floor. You and your wife, Mr. and Mrs. on the floor. On the floor. Let me tell you, just by creating that environment, you sense something. It comes to you, looks at you. Hey! Yourself, you know, hi, here. When the sacred is well established, spirituality blossoms. Jesus. If you were to take this place, this altar, more than just a stage, mm. you treat it with the respect due to it. You keep a sense of sacred when you approach it spirituality will blossom and your life will be blessed by it. Amen. I receive it.
you have a pastor very dear to you, very close to you. Your closeness created intimacy of friendship beyond the sacerdos. It's a trap. Yes. It's a trap. Amen. Because you see, the day you start looking at him as a man, the day your friendship is so open because you have seen him snow, you have seen him uh, yawning, you have seen him hungry, and you bought a McDonald's, he finished his uh, in, uh, very fast. You, you start asking himself, this guy. <laughs> you see, due to that, you may be pushed to forget the mm. sacred that this one is a man God. Right. A man of God. God. Hebrew doesn't have off. So they call him a man God. He's both man and God. Are you hearing me? You get married to a spiritual woman, not a spiritual wife, a spiritual woman. Your wife is filled with the Holy Ghost. She serves God. But because she's your wife, you undermine her. You take her lightly. You shout at her all the time. Yeah! 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 All the time. You will see people from all over being blessed by her and through her. But you. That's right. Because you see, you have neglected the sacred. Keep the sacred. Amen. Make sure that in anything you do, be it relationship or be it things of God, you keep the sacred. And when it comes to the altar that you have raised on which you are called to be a guardian, keep the sacred. Not just anybody can walk on the carpet that you have established as your place of prayer. They just come to stand there and no. You as the guardian of that altar, you have the obligation and responsibility to watch over the requirement of the altar and make sure that it comes to pass. Amen. I'm praying for you to be true guardians of your altar. Every it. altar has a priest. Mm. The Lord has called you and established you as priest. The voice of the priest of the altar, the guardian of the altar, speaks loud in the spiritual realm. As a guardian of the altar, when you speak, on behalf of that altar, power is released. That's if right. I'm a guardian of this altar, I can pray here more than anyone in the world can pray here. Because you see, God established me here. Yeah. Next door, the one who is established as a guardian of the altar there can pray from his point of power and establishment more than anyone in the world where God has established you as a guardian of the altar you have a voice as a guardian of the altar when you are right you can stand and speak against sickness sickness yes. will obey you can stand against any work of evil it shall be destroyed why because you have the mandate and that you have the position over that. There'll be no witch left in your family. I no witch. It. If you understand what I'm telling you, you will begin to arise and declare things and it shall be established. You will say this year will not bury anybody. Even the one who's 120 in your family will live another year because you say so. Receive it. From where you are, you say every door, you can call the doors. You say, that door that has been closed for him, that door has been closed. I decree and I declare from now on, they are open. I give I it seven days, it. it shall happen. Now you are speaking as priest. Not just as a child, a student, a worker, an employee. No, you're speaking as priest. You say, I'll go to see my doctor in 30 days. I will ask him to test me again. I stand as priest and guardian over my altar. By the power of God through this altar, I decree and I declare I am completely healed. Because you have said that 30 days down the line, when you go to the doctor, don't even expect what you see. No, know already what you will see. Yes. You're telling him what he will see. When he checks, he will see it. Why? Because you have spoken 
as a priest, as a guardian, from a high power. I am standing here. Just like Eli looked at Anna and said, go in peace. Today, mm. I am speaking to you from this place. I am decreeing and declaring there will be nothing but good news in your life I from this day forward. This year, you will testify the goodness of God as never before. Jesus. I am not preaching to you. I am not motivating you. I stand as a guardian over this altar by virtue of the power and authority laid on me and given to me. I decree and I declare the doors that the enemy had locked closed in your life breaks open in the name I of receive. Jesus. My hands lifted to you. Just as the Lord asked Moses to raise his hand with the rod, and the red sea parted. I lift my hand and raise it and stretch it towards you. I, I decree it. and I declare every red sea in your life will part in the name of I Jesus. It. Today I decree. I declare whatever your heart desire, the Lord gives to you I according to his word. In the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. I want you to lift your hand, your right hand. If you have pain in your body, I want you to touch where the pain is. I am speaking from this point. I am declaring complete restoration of health. Complete it. restoration of health. I in the name it. of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. I decree, I declare. May you receive complete healing in the name of of I receive it. Take 60 seconds, pray. Pray in the Holy Ghost if you can. Pray in the Holy Ghost if you can. Pray in the Holy Ghost. You are receiving a miracle. I say you are receiving your miracle now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Makate Rebekoto. Mazekete Rebekoto. Shakata Rebese. Mozokoto Boshaya. Complete healing, complete restoration. Complete healing, complete restoration. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Mazokoto. Zekete Rebe. Moshoto. Can I have my bishop stand here? Mana Mazoto. Korobo Sete. Now, if you are here, there is an impediment. You have pain. You are sick. Whatever the case may be. Wave to me. If there is pain in your body. Pastors, I want you to please join us here. My pastors, let's pray. You are coming to the altar. Jesus. You're coming to the altar. I stand to decree and to declare. It is well. Remain in the spirit of prayer. We trust in God. There will be a mighty wind that will blow. The healing power of God will reach you. He loves you. Thank you, Jesus. You will remember this day. Romo baby. Lift your hand and pray. Lift your hand and speak to him. Speak to him. Pray. Anna came to the altar and pray. Anna prayed like a drunken woman. Yes, Anna Lord. did not withhold. Yeah, Anna spoke to the Almighty God. Mm. Pray, speak to God. Yes, Jehovah. Pray, speak to God. Heal, oh God. Yes, Jesus. Hear the cry of your sons and your daughters, oh God. We defeat sickness mm. in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. We defeat disease today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Yes, Lord. 
Praise be to God. Praise be to God. In the mighty Praise name be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, you have been delivered, oh God, from every form of oppression. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for opening the eyes of the blind. In the name of Jesus. Pray, pray, somebody. Don't be distracted. Of the death right now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For healing blood cancer right now. Thank you, Lord Jesus. For delivering every form of cancer from the bodies of your sons and daughters. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for restoration, O oh God. Completeness of your health in the land. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. For every wound. That is closed, that is open right now in the name of Jesus. Open up in the name of Jesus. Oh, receive in the mighty name of Jesus. It is well with you. It is well with you. Pray, speak to God. Jesus. Heal me. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. His goodness, His glory, His power. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will never be the same again. I receive it. Wherever you are, today marks the last day of your trial, your pain. God will meet you at the point of your need. Amen. The power of God is locating you where you are. There are people watching me. You are feeling the sense of glory going through your physical body. Receive the power of God. Receive the glory of God. I will see it. It is all yours today. In the name of Jesus. The devil has lost the battle. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus Christ reign in your life. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus Christ reign today. Amen. Receive it. I receive it. I receive it. If you were blessed by this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can catch Pastor Arthur Kao on AMI TV on the public bouquet or on our live stream on AMITV.com. You can follow Pastor Arthur Kao on all social media platforms at Arthur Kao.